We have been very open and very honest uh, about our interest. You know, I have a country which has a per capita income of $2,000. These are not people who can afford higher energy prices. It is my obligation, my moral duty to actually ensure that I get them the best deal that I can from the world. A lot of them, uh, you know, lot of traditional suppliers to Asia are also diverting them to Europe because Europe is buying less oil and gas from Russia or can buy less and oil from gas from Russia. So Europe is also actually buying much more uh, from the Middle East and from other sources who would have supplied India. So it is a situation today where every country will try naturally to get the best deal possible for its citizens will try to cushion the impact of this high energy prices uh, and that is exactly what we are doing. Now, we are not doing it uh, in a defensive way. I mean, we have been very open and very honest uh, about our interest. You know, I have a country which has a per capita income of $2,000. These are not people who can afford higher energy prices. It is my obligation, my moral duty to actually ensure that I get them the best deal that I can from the world. People accept it. Uh, they may not always appreciate it, uh, but uh, once, you know, uh, you have, it is, it is there and you're not trying to be too clever about it. You, you actually have, have uh, laid out your interests in a very direct manner. My sense is that the world accepts that as a, as a kind of uh, reality and that is what will happen out here. And I can tell you, as someone who deals uh, very intensively with the United States, uh, my, you know, I, I, I do see that uh, not just in the United States, but including in the U.S., that uh, they, they know what our position is and, and you know, they, they move on with that.